I was doing a client site recently and we used the blog collection for like tons of sections on the site. So we had like a auto playing carousel, but we coded it in a way where the blog image come through as like a logo and then we just auto played it. Then we had this really cool um, like hover effect where there was, uh, I think, three things in a row and it had like a big statistic with an icon and when you hovered, it come up with uh, new information underneath so it would like pop up. Again, we could only do that by using summary blocks via um, blog collections. So there was like 12 blog collections that we had to make to pull in all this info and give it the effect that they wanted. So super complex, but they were like, obviously we don't want these things to show up on search engines because it's not great for SEO to have all like these empty pages because all we wanted was like the logo and sometimes the meta, or not the meta description, the excerpt to show. So that's, that's not gonna be great for SEO. So what we did, super easy, was just detoggle um, the search engine. Uh, I think it's like, it says show on search engine or something like that. And basically that stops, um, brow uh, not browsers, what would you call them? Search engines uh, like Google or Bing or whatever, crawling your site and indexing these pages. So you may have other pages that you just want to stay hidden for whatever reason. That's just one use case. So I'm going to show you anyway, it should take me like 20 seconds. It'll take, it'll take a lot shorter than it took me to explain it. So we're on the site here. If we go into pages, let's imagine that you're working on, I've made this for an earlier video, the blank slate. As I said in that last video, this is some of my best, best work. But anyway, let's imagine you're going to spend the next few days to maybe even a few weeks just working on this page and you don't want it to get indexed by Google. You don't want anybody to actually be able to get onto there. So what you do is you click on the cog and then you go into SEO and all you've got to do is hide page from search results. There we go. Same goes for the blog. So let's imagine, I don't think I have one on here, but if I quickly make up a blog, pop that in and I'm using this for the logo slider or whatever it is, all I need to do is click on the cog in the blog, poet and I didn't know it, go into SEO and then you can either hide all category pages or tag pages or just all pages in that collection full stop. Hit save and they're all hidden so they won't be getting indexed by Google. Really, really easy. So hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.